Alright, this one's for the boys. This is um, just a group of some of my favorite knives. So here's the Demco 8020.5. I couldn't help myself. I had to get uh, I had to get both blade shapes. Okay. So there's the sheep's foot clip point. Uh, added deep carry pocket clips because the original pocket clip for this knife is hideous. Right. Okay, uh, Spyderco smocks, both of them modded. This one has uh, brass titanium scales on it. And uh, you can all make fun of me all you want, but uh, to most of my favorite knives, I add these uh, little Chinese uh, thumb stud additions. These probably bring down the value of any knife. Uh, because they will leave a mark if you ever go to take them off, uh, assuming you got them on tight enough to keep them on. Um, but anyway, yeah, Spider Coast Mop with brass titanium scales, deep carry pocket clip, uh, lanyard filler. Oh, look at that, it's kind of focusing. Um, this one's also a Spider Coast Mop, but this is in, uh, I added, um, black zirconium oil slick um, scales to it. Okay, this thing has ridiculous fidget factor. Right? Okay. This is a Civivi Praxis, but with brushed uh, copper scales. This knife weighs a ton. This has got to be um, over eight ounces, I believe, um, with a four inch blade. Okay. In my opinion, this is Civivi's answer to the ZT0562. I mean, if we look at them next to one another, their profile is basically the same, right? Uh, this is a frame lock, this is a liner lock. This is, uh, like, just under $200. This is, frig, like, like, 450 bucks or something, if you get it in full tie. Uh, You'll never see another one of these that looks exactly like this because I heat anodized this. Uh, anyone who follows me has seen a lot of this knife because I'm obsessed with it. Uh, but either way, uh, this is Civivi's answer to this, in, in my opinion. They're basically the same knife, it's just this is a liner lock, this is a frame lock. Um, the Civivi is smoother. Their bearing setup is 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 much better, but this knife will will definitely last longer. It's built better. The tolerances are just on point. Okay. This is another Civivi, the Conspirator. This knife has some pretty ridiculous fidget factor uh, and makes really cool sounds. This is a great knife. Uh, oh, I didn't even talk about blade steel. So, uh, this is the only knife I have where the blade is in nitro V. Uh, I have yet to sharpen most of these knives because um, they all came very sharp, and they all seem to be holding an edge. They're all very different blade steels, though. The Civivi Conspirator is uh, Nitro V. The Spyderco Smock is, I believe, S35VM. What is this? No, CPM S30V. I don't know what's going on. These knives are all very full of dust. I'm sure you can all see this. It's very strange. 
looks pretty cool though. Um, so those two are obviously the same blade steel. Um, the Demco 8025 is in S35VN. Yep, yeah, S35VN. Very solid blade steel. Okay. Uh, I didn't even get to it. Spyderco Shaman. You guys have seen this before. Black Zirconium Scales. Black Zirconium Backspacer. Uh, deep Carry Titanium Pocket Clip. Right? This would have so much better fidget factor if they added a button to their compression lock like they did with the smocks. Um, and if they ever change this knife to give it a button, I will buy it again. And I will dress it up just as intensely. I love this knife. Uh, I'm just... I don't have a ton of dexterity in my hands, so compression locks are pretty difficult for me. The, the PM2, I don't know if it's because it's thinner or what the deal is, but it's the compression lock on the PM2 is so much easier to manipulate. Uh, sadly, I destroyed the titanium scales that I put on mine. Uh, if any of you are interested in uh, heat anodizing, as I did to this, don't try to do it uh, on textured scales. Only do it on smooth, smooth metal because you will not get the same effect and it ends up looking fairly ugly. Um, it's just, uh, from what I've seen, uh, it doesn't work even close to as well. Uh, on smooth scales, it works very well, and it looks beautiful. Right? Um, I think by far, though, when we're talking about fidget factor, uh, nothing touches the Demco 80 20.5. It's just so simple. I remember the first time that I held this knife and tried to deploy it, uh, I kept failing it. I was getting like halfway like this and then I was like, eh, and then I like almost cut myself. But um, the more I looked at pictures of it, the more I wanted it anyway. So I eventually bought it and once you get used to the shark lock, uh, it's, there's nothing fidgetier, if that's a word. Um, and it's just simple and easy and, you know, utilitarian. That's something, that's a word I toss around a lot, but, like, it really is something that I enjoy with knives. If a knife is completely ambidextrous um, and easy to use, I like it more. I just do. Um, I love my Spyderco Shaman. Uh, more than many of my knives, but because it's not as easy to, uh, you know, deploy and close, um, I end up not carrying it as often. Uh, you know, every day I seem to have a different amount of dexterity in my hands, and uh, the days that I feel I have more is the days I carry it. But these truly are um, probably my favorite knives in my whole collection here. Let's get a shot of them all deployed. That's a thing of beauty right there. Just a thing of beauty. Man, it's hard doing this through the lens of a camera.
Anyway, if any of you have a, a, a knife with more fidget factor than the Demco 8025, please post it so I can go buy it <laughs> and feed my addiction even further. Uh, don't tell the wife. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, these are, these are some of the best fidget factor knives I think I own and just my favorite in general. Um, anyway, have a good day, guys. See ya.